Hey there guys, Jordan in the know here and I hope you're doing well. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here just thanking you guys for the massive support that you guys uh, gave for me on my Pixel 7 review. I did not expect it to get the amount of traction that it did and I'm just super grateful and humbled to see how many of you guys love that video. So if you like stuff like that, I plan on doing many similar videos like that. So stick around, subscribe, and also welcome to all the new subscribers that I've gotten over the past few days. It's just been a lot. Either way, I've gotten so many questions here on that video about what kind of case I use or what kind of screen protector I use or even the launcher. So I wanted to make this video just to give you guys some insight into how I had my Pixel 7 set up. In my opinion, good customization for the Pixel 7 is hard to come by. So I really wanted to share with you guys some of the most interesting customization options I've stumbled upon. And to get the biggest question out of the way, what case am I using for the Pixel 7? In this situation, this is actually the Damascus or Warzone vinyl wrap from D brand with a clear case from Spigen being applied on top of the skin. My mindset behind this was I really wanted the custom unique look of a skin without having to sacrifice protection. So this is what I was able to come up with here. The skin is about 25 bucks and there are many more options besides this purple color here. So take a look and you'll probably find something for yourself that you'll really like. As for the case itself, it was about 16 bucks on Amazon and does the job well enough for my goals. It's a clear case, which is supposed to show off the skin, and supposedly this case has anti-yellowing technology, which I know is something that's very common with these clear cases. So we'll see how it holds up over time. And this case here to me is thick enough to give me the peace of mind against drops, bumps, and scrapes. So have the good look of the skin with the protection of the case, and that's everything I could want. If you plan on doing this yourself, I really, really suggest using a hair dryer to apply the skin on, just because it needs high heat to adhere to the phone correctly, especially on those corners. But otherwise, I take my case on and off a few times a week to clean it, and these corners and edges have held up so far. So use a hair dryer and hope for the best. And now let's move on to the software where, just like the hardware, I tried as much as I could to tweak it to my personal preferences, and I think it turned out good so far. Everyone has their phones set up differently, so these tweaks may not be as useful to you as they are to me, but I can show you guys and you can just decide for yourself if this is useful or not. First is the launcher and I'm using a highly customized Nova launcher setup. This wasn't too difficult to create. I just removed as much of the visual clutter as I could. So remove the status bar and increase the size of those icons a little bit. Plus we're using a super clean icon pack called Delta. They support over 7,000 icons and I picked this icon pack because of its simple and colorful aesthetic. Without it, I don't think this home screen setup would be complete so I just had to mention it here. Moving on, we also have this clock widget by Cherry KWGT. If you're unfamiliar with what KWGT is, think of it as a framework to install custom clock widgets. And in this case, I'm using the Cherry add-on that I had to download from the Play Store. This add-on pack has a hundred different widgets to choose from. And the one that I chose is number 76. And this widget spoke out to me just because it displays a lot of information in one easy to look at interface. Just at a glance here, I can see the date, time and the weather for the next three days and a descriptor of the current weather situation, which is exactly what I was looking for. As for the rest of the home screen here, swiping to the left, I have my important notes, normally that revolve around YouTube and my music player. Uh, and to the right, I have my Bible verse of the day and some secondary apps that I use more often here. As for the wallpaper, I'm using an app called Every NASA. Apparently, NASA takes photos of space objects quite often and publishes them to their website. So this app compiles those photos and puts them into a wallpaper app. I have a setting on that picks one random photo every day, and sometimes it gets some beautiful unexpected surprises when I unlock my phone in the morning, so I just felt it was worth sharing. And guys, that's pretty much it in terms of the customization items on my Pixel 7. I just wanted to make this video, like I said, just because my previous one had so many questions about what launcher I was using, what case I was using, and I just wanted to make a short, sweet video just to sum up real quick the custom items that I have on my Pixel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. You know, if you have any questions, leave some comments and myself and the community will be able to get to them and get you guys the information you need. And uh, yeah, also welcome to all of my new subscribers. I've gotten so many in the past week. It, it's just mind blowing. So it's nice to have you guys. I have more reviews and you know tech content on the way. But in the meantime, guys, let me get out of here. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the new space. Everything is not set up how I want it to be at the moment, but it'll get there. So I got to get out of here and work on this. So, um, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Jordan in the know, and I hope to see you 
in the next one.